Okay, so obviously from the from the immunization of it, it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of progress. Uh, now, obviously, there's a new cultural influx. Obviously, I live in London, so you can understand that now we have all kinds of people listen to our, a lot of music through the dance now. Yeah. Uh, how do you? And, and I think they're, op they're, they're open doors to a lot of artists. I think you were the pioneer on this side of the business because you were the first that I've seen traveling everywhere. Mm -hmm. But now the frontiers are open for everybody. True. Like, how do you think? Obviously, I'm, I'm already answering, but, <laughs> but uh, if you could give me like your views on how this new influx of cultures like helped artists now. Well, you know, the music, like, Music is, is uh, the one of the only free currency, if I could say, of the world. Because to go anywhere else, you need a passport. You need to, 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 to cross borders. Whereas music can just go anywhere. I remember arriving in Brazil in 2007 and telling to myself, okay, I'm going to make them discover you know, my art. And when I started the show, everybody knew all my songs already. And I never sold a CD in Brazil. And there was no iTunes back then. In Brazil why yeah piracy you know people were sharing each other music with the internet and with the dance the thing what that happened is like me I remember talking to the people of the zook industry long time ago and telling them hey we need a dance we need something that is called the zook and try to do like salsa and, you know me I have vision sometimes and most of the time when I tell a vision people look at me like ah Oh, fine. Well, the Kizomba dance, that's exactly what happened. It replaced or it, it went into the latent dance movement with, uh, uh, along with Zumba, Salsa, and yeah, Samba too. And perfect. It's beautiful because through dance, uh, people of different cultures that would maybe not listen to the music, like when they go to Paris, you go to a Kizomba class. You're going to see a bunch of white people and you're going to be like wow and these people when they go back home they're going to go on itunes spotify google youtube whatever and they're going to type kizomba and they might find a song of yours or a compilation of yours so yeah i find it i find it beautiful because it, it's a it's an, an opportunity for the music to travel even more through dancing and yeah because they they need music to fuel the the, the classes so it's amazing it's amazing and like what you have to do is make sure that yeah these dance teachers they, they have your music good. Um... fantastic and at this point it's, you know you can just look at it and say oh yeah i'm gonna retire soon it's what i'm trying to represent i represent the woman not i and all the artists we represent the woman i think it's important